In the last episode of the Valid Delete Career Mode, we managed to hang on a 5th place finish and we're looking to push Europa League this season and I was also clowning Masip the whole entire episode but on a real note he's really inconsistent and we need to get a good goalkeeper next season, I have few in mind. Also I was calling through the Youth Academy and I found this guy Thomas Van Dome. he looks like an absolute beast and also Simon Ziquera, 15 year old from Spain, 1.8 million looks like an absolute beast he can play on the right wing i'll also give him a, a support midfielder development plan and also siguera i'll be giving him the same plan to boost his pace and maybe his dribble going into today's fixtures we do have a lot of games six to be exact we have athletic club uh, real sociedad deportivo alaves sevilla and salta vigo the game against athletic club and sociedad will be interesting our first game of the episode is going to be against Athletic Club. They currently sit in 6th place with uh, 51 points. We're 2 points ahead of them and hopefully after this game we're 4 points ahead of them and that's how the team is going to line up. We do get the first chance of the game in the 17th minute. It was a nice pass from Alcaraz to find Sean Weissman. He tried going for the right corner but was saved by the goalkeeper. As one of the one of our defenders picked up an injury, I hope it's not that severe, but I'll be substituting him with El Yamik as we get a chance here in the 40th minute. Nice pass to Tony Villa and Tony Villa tried going for the right corner, but it was just missed it by a little bit. As we get another chance here in the 44th minute, nice pass back to Villa and this time Villa makes it 1-0. He finds the right corner. Uh, we do get another chance here with nice pass to Vine Boyder and Boyder goes for the right side. Goalkeeper had no chance of saving that. Boyder makes it 2 0 here in the 64th minute. We'll get another chance here in the 74th minute. Nice pass from Rocco Maisa to find Boyder and Boyder again goes the same direction, but this time it's the same fashion again and he makes it 3 0. Uh, that's how the game is going to end at 3 0. It was a great performance from us, especially Boyder. I thought he had a real game. Next game of the episode is going to be against Real Sociedad, uh, they still do have Isaac, uh, last time you know what he did to us, he just destroyed us. As they get the chance, it was a nice pass from Mikel Marino to find Isaac and Isaac goes to the bottom right corner, goalkeeper had no chance of saving that, Masip still cannot save the bottom corners, I don't know what's up with that guy. Uh, in the 15th minute, it was a terrible pass from our right back and he's taken advantage by Mikel Marino, Mikel Marino passes it to Isaac and Isaac makes it 2-0 here. In the 16th minute, uh, we can't do anything to stop him at this point. We will get a chance in the 25th minute. It was a nice pass to find Waldo. And Waldo goes down the wing and Waldo makes it 2-1 to give us a hope And in the 26th minute. And what the hell was that celebration? As uh, 74th minute, Sociedad will get a chance. It was a nice pass from Baxtera. Baxtera back and he tried going for the near post. But this time was saved by Masip. Yeah, this guy is, this is a complete clown. Uh... We do get a chance in the 79th minute, nice pass to find Tony Villa, Tony Villa our muscle is a defender, it goes all the way in, goes for the bottom right corner, I mean top corner, his favorite spot and he just tucks in, he makes it 2-2 in the 80th minute. As they get a corner here in the 83rd minute, it was a terrible marking from us and it falls to Mikel Marino and it was a powerful header from Mikel Marino to make it 3-2 here in the 84th minute. Uh, they will get another chance here in the 88th minute, they were just dominating the last 10 minutes of the game and he falls to Yanuzai in the box so no one was marking him and he makes it 4-2 in the last seconds of the game. That's how the game is going to end, 4-2 was a dominant performance from Isaac but terrible performance from us. Next game at the episode against Alaves, I have rotated some of the guys to give some guys a minute. Uh, we did get the first chance here in the third minute, it was a nice near post cross to uh, Mark Andre, but just he missed it by margin. As we get another opportunity here in the 30th minute, a nice turn from Mark Andre to turn his man. He almost went for the top corner, but was saved by Pachuca. We do get another opportunity in the 34th minute, a nice pass from Jota to find Mark Andre. Mark Andre had a lot of space to choose his corner, but he goes for the same direction, but it was saved by Pachuca this time. We do get another opportunity here in the 43rd minute, it was a nice near post cross, but this time Borders had her going just outside the post. We do get a good opportunity in the 71st minute, it was a nice pass to cut through the defense and he finds Borders and Borders wasn't going to miss it from that far, he makes it 1-0 in the 72nd minute. 
Uh, but uh, Alibis will get a chance here. It was a nice fake shot from Vukovic, and he goes near post. Uh, near post massive. It looks like near post massive. That's gonna be his name. He cannot save near post shots, and he makes it 1 1. That's, we do get a chance here. The last minute of the game was nice pass to Van Buedo, and Buedo chips in. It was almost a good header, but it falls to Mark Andre. Mark Andre makes it 2 1 in the dying minute of the game. What a goal for Mark Andre to just give us the lead at the dying minute of the game. Next game of the episode is going to be against Sevilla in our usual formation. They get the first chance here in the 58th minute. It was a nice shot from, I don't know who that was, but it was saved by Masi with a near post this time. We'll get a chance in the 68th minute. Mark Andre had a lot of space to think where he was going, but he goes wide. No target, nothing. It just goes wide. Uh, we'll get an opportunity in the 73rd minute. It was Australia going for a cross, but somehow it just goes wide from Sean Weissman. And that's how the game is going to end. It was the most boring game I played. Not many chances, but we move on. Tony Villa did pick up an injury, it'll be a bruised shoulder and he'll be out for the next 5 days. I hope he can recover fast, we do have a game against Celta next. Last game of the episode is going to be against Celta Vigo and Tony Villa will be back for this game, he's healthy. We do get the first opportunity in the 19th minute, it was a nice turn from Rocco Mesa and Rocco Mesa tried going for the goal but it was saved by Blanco to the nice opportunity. We will get another opportunity here in the 37th minute. It was a nice pass from Tony Villa back to Buedo. And Buedo goes for the right corner. This time goalkeeper cannot save it. Buedo makes it 1-0 here. And Sean Weissman has racked up a lot of assists so far. Uh, we'll get another chance here. It was a nice shot from Weissman. It falls to Buedo. I mean Waldo. And Waldo takes advantage of the rebound. And Waldo makes it 2-0 here and right before halftime to give us a 2 lead advantage. We will get another chance here in the 48th minute. Nice pass to Van Buedo and Buedo this time going for the right corner. Makes it 3-0 here. We're going right here. Buedo, I think it was a nice pass from Weissman. Weissman is just assisting so far. I will get another chance here. Another counter attack chance. Buedo going all the way down. Buedo try going for the right corner. It was saved by Blanco. And I'll be substituting uh, Weissman this time for Mark Andre. He has some good head in accuracy. And this time, hopefully, he can score a header here. It was near post. It was great, powerful head from Mark Andre. After he minutes after he came on, he scores a header. What a way to respond! Mark Andre makes a four nil here. Nothing we can do to stop this guy. That's how the game is going to end. I mean, they will get another chance here in the 87th minute, but just hits outside the box, and that's how the game is going to end. The play of the episode is going to be between Javier Buelo and Sean Weissman for me. Um, Sean Weissman doesn't get a lot of credit for me. To be fair, he's just done a phenomenal job just finding those through passes either between Buelo and Tony Villa. But to be honest, Buelo has just been great since we signed him from Espanyol. He's already up to 82 overall. But um, yeah, if you made it this far into the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.